why would you take a whole route away? I mean, come on now. Neighbors in Northeast Nashville say they are outraged after a busy route in their community stopped running. Wego says they notified riders, but the people in the Parkwood subdivision say many of them had no idea. So they reached out to call for action problem solver Carice Jackman. And here is what she found out. In the Parkwood subdivision, riding the bus is essential. It's why 66 year old Regina Smith was shocked when she noticed the bus signs were no longer around. When I rode around in the subdivisions, I'm like, okay, well, what's going on? She called Wego and was told the routes canceled. When I was actually a bus rider for many years when I was at NES, that morning bus at 530 was packed, standing room only. Coming back in the evening, it was also standing room only. Phyllis Kennard lives off Brick Church Pike. She knows so many working class essential workers and students who used Route 23 all the time. When the kids ride it, they'd have to have a double dutch bus. And most of the kids are from high school all the way down to elementary school riding the buses to the different magnet schools. Neighbors would tell me before they would get picked up and dropped off here in the Parkwood neighborhood, but not anymore. Now they have to go at least a mile down this road to catch the nearest route, and they say that's very problematic. News 4 contacted WeGo to find out what happened. They told me they made a set of changes that increased trip frequency, longer service hours, and streamlined routing. Doing this, WeGo says, allows majority of riders to have more direct travel and service. They eliminated the portion of the route, which they claim had about 15 boardings per day, with most of them 1,500 feet or less from their new stops. WeGo also says they posted notices on social media, their website, and at bus bays and at WeGo Central. But Kennard and Smith are worried about the people not on social media that can't easily drive down the road or catch a ride to the bus stop. They see people still waiting for the bus, and Smith offers to take them to their destination since she has a car. A lot of people, the majority of people in here actually uses that public transportation. So if you're taking that away from them, okay, you're leaving them to walk or either call Uber or a taxi cab. We're, it's for the public. They need to put that route back on there. However long, just like you took it, you need to put it back on there. I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Carice Jackman, News for Nashville.